Hello everyone, it's me Luz Kuntroy and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to apply basic coloring effects to your video. We are going to use some effects that comes with Sony Vegas, no third party plugins. In another tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a third party plugin called Magic Bullet. Suppose this is our final product and we want to apply effects to those to this final product. We can do it in many ways. One way is you can come over here to event event effect and apply whatever you want or you can come here to apply to apply some video effect to the whole video track and the best one is to come over here and apply the effect to the whole project wherever your clip is in whatever in whatever video track so we come over here to what we call the video output effect and we apply whatever we want so let's start with color curves and by the way uh, this is the way I'm doing it it's not like the best way there's not nothing such as best good bad so whatever you like you do it I'm going to show you how I do it my way so first double click on color curves then press ok and this screen will pop up and what does this represent we have uh, three channels and we can control all of them together if we come to this channel now we can drag those two I'm not sure what they call it we can drag those two things now this part the the this half of of this graph represent the dark colors so if you bring this one up the dark colors will get brighter and if you bring it down the dark colors will, will get even darker the shadows or whatever it is and for for this one if we if we play around with this one if we take it up the bright colors will get brighter and if we take it down the bright colors will get even it will get darker so let's set it to default first then I like to do it this way bring this one up not that much don't overdo anything because it it may ruin your out your product you must give this part of your video editing so much time so because it may it may make your final product look really bad so you must be careful and bring this one to this side and if we press right here we can apply it and remove it so you can see the difference and one more thing we add is some noise oh not this one noise we need to add it in a really small value like 0 0.08 you may not see that much difference but when you render it you will see the difference in my opinion it makes it look much nicer and now we can add also soft contrast to add some contrast and vignette so bring this one down it's a bit too high diffusion play around with those values to whatever you like and this is what I want to get set it to black ellipse softness take it to 70 Height to 100 and width to 100 and now you change the amount to whatever you like the whatever you like you can replace those black size with some blur which makes it look also nice and now since we are done there is one thing you need to do before you render you need to check some th this fo footage is bright and we see that our coloring effect is nice but sometimes if you have some dark dark clips you will see that it's too dark or too bright so you must always before rendering check all parts of your your video how they look like 
and I suggest that you keep those off until you until before rendering once you want to render you just turn them on and test that and make sure that they look good because they will slow down your your preview so always keep them off turn them on only before rendering so this was just like basic coloring you can apply using the effects that comes with Sony Vegas without any third party plugin and I would suggest that you give time for coloring because it may ruin your your final product and don't rush and just apply anything then it will it may make your video look bad so I guess we are done it's Miru's control peace